Hi, welcome to Quinn's RC once again. Today, I'm super excited to be announcing a new sponsor for Quinn's RC. A couple weeks ago, RC All Wheel Drive contacted me and asked if I'd like them to send me some parts to put on my channel. I said, are you kidding? Of course, who wouldn't? So here I am. I did a poll on my YouTube channel asking which CR18P should get the parts. Overwhelming favorite was the CR18P Evo Rock Van. So I'm going to get these parts on here right away. They sent me some CVDs for the front. These look pretty beefy. They sent me center drive shafts, which also look pretty nice. And then, super exciting for these cars because it's always one of the best upgrades, oil-filled shocks. Let's hit the workbench and get these things installed. Well, I had my Evo body off and tires off looking to put the drive shafts on. But what I found out, and I knew this, but I wasn't sure what the tolerances were going to be because I hadn't had them apart yet. But what you have here, this is the CR18P Evo rear drive shaft. This is the RC all-wheel drive metal drive shaft. And then this is a CR18P, the first version, uh, rear drive shaft. So the RCL wheel drive is too long for the Evo model. It's because the transmission is bigger, the two-speed two transmission. So the drive shaft is shorter. This will not fit. So it's going to have to go. And my other favorite, second favorite, maybe, CR18P rock van. So I'll put them in there. Insulation of the drive shafts is pretty easy. I like to have the body completely off because it's much easier to get to some parts of the drive shafts from the top and other parts from the bottom. So you just line up the hole for the grub screw on the flat part of the drive shaft. Take a little grub screw. You could Loctite this if you wanted. I don't think it's necessary. It can be a little fiddly, just like that. But I find that the front portion to attach the drive shaft to the transmission is easier to get to from the top. They should line up. It's on there good. Slide on the shaft. Oh, you want to make sure that it's the same way. We have the grub screw on the opposite side, so we'll put it. We'll, so we'll put it on so the drive shaft. So the so the grub screw hole is on the opposite side. And then we can just rotate the motor. To bring the grub screw around. Once you got that, let's do the same thing here. Line up the flat spot. Take your other grub screw. Tighten it up. And you're done. Pretty easy. Here's the stock CVD. Here's the RCL wheel drive CVD. They look to be pretty much identical. So I'm thinking that this is a replacement rather than an upgrade. Installation of the CVDs is pretty easy. It's just four bolts. Take off the portal cover. Once you have that off, take out this gear. Be careful there's a pin right here. They're tiny and fussy. The CVD just comes right out. There's a pin here too. You'll need to save that pin. Thank you. 
CVD. This comes out like that, the drive shaft and the CVD, I guess, that's what you would say. New one. Very similar design to stock. It will, and you get it right. Just drop in there like that. Make sure you center that pin as well as you can. And then try to line up the slot. There we go. Push down on this as you set it down to so make sure the pin doesn't slide out on that. Then we put the portal cover back on. I always do a crisscross pattern. Even though on these it's probably not a huge deal. Remember, not too tight. These are very easy to strip out. That's the place where I've most often stripped out these little bolts is on these portal covers. And if you look here, sometimes if you haven't, if you don't have those gears seated correctly, you'll be able to tell because the cover is not flush with the inner portal. That's it. Now we put the wheels back on. Hey, here's the rock van with the RC all-wheel drive CVDs and also the RC all-wheel drive drive shafts. And we're going to do the little turning radius test again. I don't expect it's going to make a huge difference because the CVDs seem like they were the same. A little bit wider. Hmm. I took it back in and had a look at it and discovered that one of the shocks that I removed, I put back in a different position. It was actually uh, in a lower hole. So I moved it back and now if you do the same test, it comes back in the same spot exactly. So it's funny how Right there. It's funny how um, a different shock position affects the turning radius. But it did. Back at the workbench, we have the massive spider on my van. See that? Yikes! Off spider! Back at the workbench, we have the aluminum drive shafts in the original CR18P rock van. These are great little rigs. The rock vans are just the best. I, I don't know. I love them. Uh, the CVDs are in here as well. I held this thing stationary and gave it full throttle, and these did not slip. They did not break. So if you've broken your stock plastic drive shafts getting bound up on rocks or somewhere else, these are a viable alternative for you. We learned something very important. The drive shaft, the rear drive shaft for the CR18P does not fit in the Evo. So bear that in mind when you're buying replacement drive shafts. CVDs went in, no problem. They're a very good option for replacement if you break those. I apologize. It was a bit of a bait and switch. I thought I was going to put the drive shafts in the Evo rock van, but they just didn't fit. In my next video, I'll be putting the oil filled shocks, which seem really nice, into the rock van. So don't miss that. And the best way not to miss that is to like this video, subscribe, and then ring the bell so you get notified when I make the next video. I'd like to thank RC All Wheel Drive for sending me the parts. I feel so lucky to be such a small channel and have companies like RC, RC All Wheel Drive sending me parts to make videos with my little iPhone, my little GoPro in my garage. It's just awesome. And for you who've stuck through this and watched me to the end, I really appreciate that as well. I can't believe people actually watch a video that I make, but it's fun. 
I love it. I'm new to the hobby. I hope you can learn something along with me, and I will see you next time.